Kia ora, welcome to my happy place. If you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment so I know that you've been, don't be shy, and please enjoy. I've come on today to do a um, postcard size piece for Nina Ribena's um, journal prompts and more. Um, and I'm a little bit behind. I haven't done my picture for my calendar. So I'm going to do that. And it's um, repurpose, recycle, and something else. <laughs> I'll put it in the down bar. Um, so I'm just going to put a bit of colour on here, I think. And I'm going to use my new dilutions. Um, and I want some dobbers. <laughs> oh, terrible, terrible. Um, we can't get the wedge, makeup wedge ones like you use in America, but I've just sourced them on AliExpress, so I'm just waiting for them to come. I'll make my own. So I have I have a few things cut out here that or that were cut out that I used on other projects. So but I really don't have any great idea of what I'm going to do. Just put those up there so I don't knock them over. I have been um busy tidying up my art space. I, I used to have a um, glass on my table, but when we were packed up to change rooms, we set something on top of it and it got scratched. And um, paint kept on getting stuck in it and I didn't like it, so I've taken it off. So it was a good excuse to um, have a tidy up. Right, um, it is, well, February was still summer here and these are summer colours and I'm just sort of making a little coloured background for a start and I'm using paint for a change instead of just collaging. And I want some pink. I love these delusion paints. They're so lovely. There's only one fault with them. They thicken up very quickly if you don't use them. So my new thing is to use my products. There's no point having them sitting on the, and they merge uh, or blend, is the word, very nicely. Right. And one more. I'm just taking it off, off the lid. looking nice. Wipe up my um, sponges. I'm not waste any of the of the colours. Put those back on my paints because we don't want them drying out. Than that one. Make sure I've cleaned them all up. 
That's cool. Now, I'll just give that a bit of a dry off. Right, I'm back and I have um, got my stamp pad and a stamp here just to put a little bit of background on it and I've changed my page so it doesn't um, just merge into the background. I got this um, Stampin' Happy Mail and it's so cool. I really like it. Just gives a nice little bit of background to it. Right, now, what am I going to do now? Let a bit of a dry off. I fished out some nice um, homemade tissue paper that home stamped tissue paper that I also got in Happy Mail. So we'll do that. Find a brush. Mm, no, I won't use that. I'll use one of my glue brushes. I keep on forgetting that I've got them. They work really cool. Oh, that brings the colours out really nice, doesn't it? Love that. Right. Now, let me see. Where are we? Just move that out of the road so that I can move that down try and get it moved without wrinkling it too much all right A bit more over the top of that just to make sure it's glued down properly. Right now, I'll dry that off. Right. It's buckled a little bit, but it will be put on to a um, onto a uh, back, uh, backboard or a back card. Just get rid of these. I should have done that before I came back, but never mind. Right now. So I had these little circles cut out that I um, I was doing a background um, collage for a swap. And I think I might just maybe just do some little little bits here and there. Alright. Move that out of road. I think I've got some little half bits there. And I think I want a small brush for this. Alright. This is a bit here, but this little bit here. Got the same little colours in it that um, that I have put on the background. Don't want to cover that little bird. I like that little bird.
and here's one more. Just cut that one. Just cut that a bit. Save the rest for something else. Just to add to the background. Well, to the piece actually. No idea what's going on in the front. I have a couple of things, but we'll see. Right now. myself a bit of black card for that to go on in my um, thing. It'll look like that. And I don't normally do this cut these on um, on my videos, but I don't have a guillotine. I've been looking for one for ages. And this is, it only measures like five inches and it's very frustrating when you want to do six inches or more. So my husband made me this little wee two inch board to go in it. So it definitely makes it um, a much better or more, more useful cutter. Do that four, so do that four and a half. And hopefully, I've estimated that right. But I just thought I'd show you my little wee cutter there. Right, ah, oh, that's better. That's good. That's going to go on there right there. Right now, what am I going to put on it? I have. These two words here that I got sent in Happy Mail and I've coloured them up. And so I've got Imagine and I've got Family. So since this is a calendar that I might give away to somebody else, I think I might put Imagine on it. And it doesn't actually show up, it sort of blends into it a bit doesn't it maybe I won't do that at all right what else have I got I've got these hearts that I cut out and February is um, Valentine's Day so I could do that Don't actually show up very good, do they? Oh, I have this lovely little bird. And he doesn't show up very well. So I think what I'm going to do is pop out my gesso. And I think I might just do this. Cross the like that. it back a bit and put our imagine on there like that just come down like that a bit put our imagine hmm. didn't do that in the right place did I And put our imagine there. 
and it pops it out more. I quite like that, so what am I going to glue that on with? Here it is. This is premium quality craft liquid glue by Creative. And it is very, very good glue for um, putting down heavy things. And it gets very sticky very fast. Now, let's get this on here pretty, pretty straight. If you're not careful, you can get your word all messed up. There, whoops. I like that. I don't like that a lot. Alright, I hope my card is going to glue down alright. Now I better put the lid back on that before I knock it over. Now, I might clear that heart down there. Now I want to have that one. That one. And that one. I think that one's a bit bright. And this one has more of the colours in it. I think I'm going to clear that there. And I think I might... Just turn it down just a little bit so that shows up, that's better. Now we've got our glue. Now I'm going to put a little bit of this around the edges. 
And that is my um, calendar picture for February. Reuse, repurpose and recycle. I'm quite happy with it. So it looks like. Thank you for being with me. Kia kaha, stay strong and I'll catch you again soon.